Opioid overdoses are often accidental and most people aren't aware of that. So even if you're taking medications or opioids as prescribed, there's still a risk of opioid overdose. So that's why I'm making this video to go over Narcan or Naloxone. This is a very common medication that could be prescribed by a pharmacist at your local CVS or Walgreens or just by your doctor in general if you're prescribed an opioid. So I think it's really important to explain about the medication, teach fellow pharmacists or pharmacy students how to counsel, or just if you're a patient yourself curious about the medication, please watch this video. US in 2020, every day 191 people have died of an opioid overdose. What are opioids? They're usually prescription medications usually to treat pain. So that's medications like codeine, fentanyl, hydrocodone, hydromorphone, oxycodone, methadone, morphine, tramadol. An overdose usually means when there's too much of a drug in your body. An opioid overdose can cause you to stop breathing and die. Opioid overdoses are often accidental and most people aren't aware of that. So even if you're taking medications or opioids as prescribed, there's still a risk of opioid overdose. Many things can increase your risk. Certain conditions like sleep apnea, or you have a reduced liver or kidney function, if you smoke cigarettes or cannabis regularly, or if you have like COPD or just lung issues in general, there's a lot of factors that can cause you to have an opioid overdose. Of course, mixing your medications with alcohol or other sedatives can really cause an opioid overdose as well. So that's why I'm making this video to go over Narcan or Naloxone. It's really important just to have any Narcan readily available just in case. The way as a pharmacist I like to explain to patients is that Narcan is almost like having a fire extinguisher in your home. It's like you don't want to use it, but it's good to have just in case. So overall in general, when should I use Narcan? So well, some signs of an opioid overdose is slow labored breathing or the patient or person is hard to wake, the non-responsive. A test I like to counsel my patients on is called the sternum rub. So this is a very common technique that first responders use. So almost everyone that receives a sternal rub is going to respond. Even if they're deep asleep, they're gonna react to it. However, if you do the sternum rub and there's no response, no reaction whatsoever, that's kind of an indication that, hey, something's wrong. Another indication is if their breathing is very shallow and slow, or there's even some gurgling, gurgling or choking noises. If their lips are blue and gray, skin is just blue and clammy in general, those are some telltale signs that you should give Narcan. Common question is, let's say, what if someone isn't actually in an opioid overdose and I give them Narcan, is that okay? Yes, that is okay. The medication is meant to reverse an opioid overdose. If there's no opioid overdose, then nothing happens. There's nothing to reverse and that's that. Better to be safe than sorry to at least give the medication if you think. Because if there's a chance there's an opioid overdose, I'd rather have you take the chance and give the medication than not. Because it can save a life. So first you assess the person, the patient, and you determine there is an opioid overdose. I would go run and grab the Narcan, but also call 911. Because the reason being that Narcan is to help reverse opioid overdose, but sometimes it's just temporarily, oftentimes uh, patients might relapse and go back into the overdose. So it's really important that you call 911 immediately. Now say you call 911 and you get the Narcan, you know, how do I administer it? What do I do? So the Narcan is usually a nasal spray. It comes packaged as a box and all you have to do is peel open the packaging. So hold a nasal spray with your thumb on the plunger. Gently insert the tip of the nozzle into the nose. Tilt the person's head back and then press on the plunger to give one dose. Now it's really important, don't prime or anything. There's exactly only one dose in that nasal spray. Now once you give that dose, wait two or three minutes and see if there's a response generally most patients respond but if there's no response you can go ahead and give another dose so each box there's always usually two doses on there now very simple right very straightforward usually when i counsel patients this i really emphasize to them okay i want you to 
go home immediately and go counsel or tell and educate a family member or friend on how to use this because you know you can't obviously you can't give yourself Narcan so it's really important that you go ahead and teach everyone around you